In this video, let's take a look at the Subscribe to Plan tab. Within this tab, you can do a couple of things. Number one, if you are a customer or a prospective customer, let's say, and you are taking the 14-day free trial right along with us and you're ready to get started, all you have to do is you click on Subscribe to Annual Plan and then you have your three choices here. Let's say you're going to select a community plan. So you click on it. Notice how it's highlighted when you click on it. So we select a community plan and then you select pay for modules. If you don't need any of these modules, that's fine. Or you can select the modules that you need. This is obviously a free demo plan. That's why you see the word free. Once you've selected your modules, then you come down here to the very bottom click on checkout and that will take you where you can enter your credit card details. So let's go back to the settings tab and again subscribe to plan and let's say you're an existing customer. Well you can look at your expired plans by clicking on this downward arrow below and you can see the information here related to your plan. Here are all your plan details, all the things that you get with your plan, your payment details, and then any admin details that you have here, setup integration details, all of the details for your plan, you're going to find here below. But let's say you don't want to look at the past, you're looking at the present. So you come here to your existing plan and you can see the basic information. Now, if you need to activate any modules, let's say you don't activate them right away, you can come here and you can just click on the section I believe it says inactive and you just click on activate and then it'll show activated once you do that and then it'll bill your credit card automatically. Now let's say for an example you've exceeded your user plan and you're ready to upgrade the limitation. You need more people within your database. You click on upgrade limitation below here. You select an additional number of users. Let's say you have 10 more employees for an example. then. If you have a coupon code, you would click here. If you need additional storage, you can click on any one of these for additional storage and then upgrade limit and then it'll automatically bill you for the amount additional that you need. Okay, so once you do that, click on upgrade limit, then you can close this out and then all the information there for your plan will be saved and updated. So those are the components of the subscribe to plan initiate your new account, look at past account activity, and look at your current plan and anything that you would like to activate. 